my name is Pascal. Today we are going to talk about which barbell you might want to use for the deadlift. And the short answer is the one that you've already got access to. So don't overcomplicate things. The most important thing is that you get the volume in. Now if you want to make it a little more complicated than that, then I would recommend that you use the barbell that you will compete with. So that being said, Check out the links in the description box below for more details and if you want to see me deadlifting, check out the training for the jersey um, uh, playlist that I have here on my channel. I personally use a Rogue Ohio Power barbell and let's get into the nitty gritty of which barbell might be best for deadlifting for you. When we are talking deadlifting barbells, then we have a quite a few options where there are all purpose barbells, there are dedicated deadlifting barbells, there's a trap bar, and then there is also Olympic weightlifting barbells. So I will go through all of these. Usually for people who go through a lot of volume, and it is the answer of all of the above. So what I mean with that, with all of the above, if you are a power lifter who has to go through a lot of volume for their deadlift, you probably also want to change things up from cycle to cycle. Therefore, you want to use a trap bar from time to time, or you use a deadlift bar, a dedicated deadlift bar with very aggressive knurling, or from time to time you even use something like an axle bar, um, you know, that is a bit out there just to mix things up a little. But that is really on the extreme side of the spectrum. Most people probably should use the barbell at their disposal, uh, disposal sorry, um, to get as much work in as possible. First thing to talk about would be a trap barbell. So the trap bars are different from the normal barbells with the, in the extent that you are actually sitting in the frame and then the arms come down at the sides and therefore you have a bit more a better leverage to lift the weight. So usually you will be able to pull more for, with a trap bar rather than with a normal barbell and also it will be definitely less taxing on your lower back. If you're not intending to um, compete in powerlifting or in strongman competitions, you might as well just use a trap bar, especially if it's for bodybuilding purposes, because there is a lot more about how many repetitions you are getting in rather than having them on a barbell. Now, of course, you can change things up, but you don't necessarily need to use a normal barbell or deadlifting barbell for your deadlifts and for training your lower back, um, especially for bodybuilding, because there is a lot more about the number of repetitions you're getting in rather than what type of tool you're using to do it. Next category up would be the people who want to compete either in Olympic weightlifting or in powerlifting. Now here I would recommend just deadlift with whatever bar will be used in competition. Now you can look up the standards for your local, national and international competitions and what kind of barbells are approved for that and then just seek out these kind of barbells and train on them. There are some that have more aggressive nerves then there are others that are having a bit more whip. So all of these behave a little differently under load. All in all, it doesn't make a huge difference because relatively speaking, everybody in the competition will be on the same barbell. So that means that if you're ultimately stronger than the others, Everybody is dealing with the kind of same disadvantage or advantage if they've trained with that barbell before. So I wouldn't put too much emphasis on the um, you know type of barbell that you're using for deadlifting. Unless it really completely throws you off because the knurling is way more aggressive or the whip is way less or more than you used to. So that just psychologically you're working yourself up to, oh, I can't lift as much on this barbell because I'm not used to it. But all in all, train with what you've got, get stronger, and then everybody relatively will be competing with the same barbell anyway. So you could also 
take it out of the equation unless it really you know plays on your mind that much that you will be psychologically impacted for competition so look up what is the standard if you want to go that far get that barbell and train with what is used in competition if you're training for competition purposes so last thing to say about what barbell to use for the deadlift there will be always the naysayers and the trolls who will say yeah but pascal uh, this is better and blah, 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 blah. Fair and it's all fair, of course. A deadlift bar that has more aggressive knurling and where you use chalk on and that has a bit more whip is usually easier for pulling more of the floor than something that has not that aggressive of a knurling, not a lot of whip, and not really good knurling. That's fair, that's all fair. However, in a competition, everybody will get as good a barbell or as shitty a barbell because they will all compete on the same barbell. You are not allowed to bring your own equipment to the meet and then say, well, this is what I want to lift on. It is, here's what you've got, lift how much you can and the rest we don't care about, you know. So you see like um, that is basically what it is in a, in a powerlifting meet or in an Olympic weightlifting uh, or CrossFit scenario for that matter. So don't overthink this, get stronger with the equipment you have and then maybe you know whenever then you have a mock meet have some equipment there if you can afford it that really simulates the um, um, you know the um, what is happening on the meat. Yes, of course, steel plates do move a bit different. Ilico plates do move a different, a little bit different from Ivanko and from Rogue Fitness and certain barbells behave a bit differently. But I mean, that is really discussion that misses the point of if you're the strongest, you're gonna win. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. And if you have any questions, pop them in the comment section below. Have a very nice day and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.